my freaking luck. Now, we're way off. I thought we were right. Ah! That's a shark! That's a freaking shark! Not again! Oh, don't do it. Don't eat me, buddy. I'm, I'm not delicious, I swear. Oh, God, I've never wanted a ladder so much in my life. Come on. Come to me. No, no, miss it. Miss it. Oh, oh well, that's not good. I hope he doesn't hang around. Freaking. Oh, God damn it, dude. <laughs> Look at my guy. Oh, they're all eating me. This is amazing. I could really not deal with this right now, though. Oh, it's definitely going to sink that other boat, though, I think. Oh, man. We're going. We're going down. Oh, don't sink this little guy. Try to get off the other boat. Oh, there's the peak. And... <laughs> Holy crap. Well, hi, diddly ho there, neighbors. Welcome back to Stormworks. Today, you guessed it, we're going to get out on the water and play with some vehicle creations. Now, one of the most requested vehicles that you guys have asked me to try out is a submarine. So, in front of us, we have one simply named the mid-sized submarine that looks pretty damn good. So, yeah, we're going to go out there, and uh, I am actually curious to see what's at the bottom of the ocean here. Is it detailed? Is it barren? Who the hell knows? Hopefully, we can get this sub to work and get down there. So, as you can see by the outside, quite detailed, quite beautiful, actually. It's all painted and very, very nice. But as we know in Stormworks, the interior is generally just as impressive as the exterior. So, we got uh, a fuel connector here if we do need to refuel. Um, hopefully, we don't need to do that because I don't have anything to refuel with this. Uh, but yes, inside we go. Close that hatch because we are su a submarine, and if we leave that open, you know bad things are going to happen. And welcome! This must be the commons room. Do we have a light here? Yes, we do. Oh my god. Is that a... Did you put a friggin' pool table in this? I mean, that's got to be what this is, right? I don't think we have the room for a pool table. I mean, I can't even get across here. That's okay. You know what? Sometimes you just want to play pool, especially when you're on a submarine. We also have a stove. It has a button. I'm assuming that's the button to use the stove. We got TVs. Oh, yeah, this is actually quite a detailed room. Now, what's over here? Oh, it's actually labeled. I like it when buttons are labeled. We have the engine room. So this is where the magic happens, a.k.a. where I probably sink this thing because there is a lot of uh, buttons here to play with. Looks like all generator control, to though, so not too crazy. Oh, God. Yeah, we'll get into that later. By the way, I've never driven this, so we'll see what happens. It's always fun when we when we learn together. Uh, we got firefighting suits, scuba gear, all that fun stuff. This is a bathroom, right? Oh, yeah, we got a bathroom and a shower here. Great. And then we have the commander's quarters. So it looks like this is for pump... Oh, God, please don't tell me I need two people for this. Middle lights. Okay, this is light control as well as it looks like pump control. Obviously, this is the helm, though. Hopefully, I can do everything myself. All right, so we have the ballast control up here. That's going to allow us to sink and whatnot. Speed control, start the generators. Okay, the generators are in the back, so it looks like I should be okay just doing everything here. Heater, so it looks like we can go to the Arctic biome with this. It does have a heater. All right, looks simple enough. It never is simple, but uh, yeah, let's start the generators. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Is everything okay back there? Okay, ho I hope we're supposed to do that right. Well, let's just let's just go for it here. Let's just see if we can put it into gear. So we're gonna put gear one on, and then speed control. I don't want to go too fast. We're not moving just yet. Generally, it takes me a little bit to understand exactly what I need on. Um, I like that the fuel gauge is like, what the hell's going on right now? So I, I I'm I'm kind of basically that fuel gauge right now. Yeah, that's not doing anything. Actually, there was a what was that button? Speed control. Let's try that. Oh, oh God. Oh my god, this is fast! Okay, okay, so <laughs> I figured it out. It was the speed control button. Uh, god damn, this thing's got some serious speed. Can we actually see? We got sonar here. Uh, rear blast. Okay, so we that's the blast things. Altimeter speed, 32 knots! Or that's me, me meters a second, rather. So yeah, we're going pretty damn quick. God damn, this is really beautiful. Now, can I control it, though, so I can lean it? I can see that. I can also make it go down. We're probably not going to be able to go down right now because I haven't filled the blast. Yes, I'm just slowing down the thing because the prope propellers are going out of the water. I like that. Accurate physics. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, so I think I'm fast enough. Oh, this is bad. This uh, Jesus. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to be up here in a sub. 
This is why I love playing with creations when I don't know what the hell I'm doing, because stuff like this happens. Okay, let's let's just slow it down. How about that? I don't want to be a dolphin anymore. We're gonna we're gonna. This, we're only in gear one, by the way. There's two gears. I'm gonna drop that speed control way down because this thing is serious. Let's go to 12. 12 sounds good. Okay. Whew. I didn't destroy it yet. That's impressive. All right, but yeah, as you can see, it's slowly floating. So let's try and fill these things. Uh, fill rear. Fill front. And we might actually be able to go down now. Not that we couldn't before. We were just using sheer speed for that. So uh, up and down force propellers. Switch control active equals engine room. Okay, switch control. If it's active, we go to the engine room to control it. Got it. So I kind of know how to do this. Now, if we want to go down, we have to put the propeller rotation up to one and the force up to one as well. At least that's what the developer told me. So we are definitely sinking. It's definitely working. And now I'm really curious to see what's at the bottom of the sea. Okay, it looks like front is maxed out at 9,000. Rear is still going up. So you know what? I'm going to stop that. I think we should be good now. Let's speed this up a little bit. Nothing too crazy because we definitely don't need that speed. And let's start dropping it down. Now, I can't see a damn thing. Should we do first person? I feel like first person, it's very hard to see. God, this is this is creepy. The, the, the feeling of the underwater in this game is really good. Oh, I think I see the floor. Now, I am feeling the blast again just because uh, I don't think I was able to get deep enough. There we go. But now, as you can see, there is at least some stuff on the floor here. I was worried it would just be, you know, barren and basic, but no, we are deep right now. There's life, there's plant life. This is amazing. This game, man, it blows me away how good it is. Ah, oh, dude, and this sub as well is MVP. So, uh, should we try and go super speedy down here? That would probably be a death wish, but you know what? I kind of want to see what happens to a sub when we do crash it down here. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's up the speed control here. Here we go. Oh, God. Okay, we're going to try and keep it nice and... Oh, God, that's the ground. Oh, God. Okay. Are, are we okay? Damn, these things can take a hit in this game. I'm, I'm used to other vehicle creators where if you hit something, you're totally destroyed. This game, I have damage on. You can see we do have some front damage going on. And I don't seem to be moving fast anymore, so I think I definitely destroyed something. Oh, uh, why am I getting hurt? Oh, God. Well, we're not filling up yet. Let's go, let's go do some damage control, though. All right, can we actually, oh, yeah, it's, it's totally broken. I can't, I can't use it. I broke the cockpit, because that was the first thing that hit. So, I guess we're stuck here. We're gonna die. I mean, that's just part of life here, so let's do it in the best way possible. Let's see what happens when we actually open this thing. Open the hatch. There we go. Come on in, water. The water's fine, I guess. So, is it actually going to fill up? Oh, yeah. You can see the water. It's going to where the lowest point is. And I'm not seeing any on the ground yet. It may be rather slow to fill this thing up. What is this? The penis mo motor? What the hell? Maybe it's pumping out the water? I mean, this thing's quite high tech. Nope. Okay. We're definitely filling up. It's a lot slower than I expected, as you can see, though. Uh... So yeah, I guess we're just gonna sink here. This is my nightmare though. I'm not necessarily on a submarine, but on a ship. Being inside on a sinking ship would be absolutely horrifying as the water starts coming up. That, that would be a big no-no for me. But yeah, as you can see, it's not very fast. So I thought once we opened that, it would just basically fill up immediately. Doesn't look like that's the case. Oh, hey, look, the plant life's in here too, great. I wonder how accurate this is. So if I, for example, go in the shower room that doesn't have, oh crap, can I close the door? Okay, I can close the door. If I go in the shower, or is this the pooper room? No, this is the shower room. Can I just kind of chill in here with my little air pocket and let this thing fill up? Let's find out for science. All right, I'm a little worried. I've been in here for a good 10 minutes and I think that's the water there. It hasn't moved, so I don't think. Ah, God damn it! Holy crap! I'm dead. I'm dead. I <laughs> I seriously didn't expect that to work. The whole thing is sunk. Oh, God. Help me. That was amazing. Oh, dude. So you can actually, like, pressurize a small area of the boat, or whatever it may be, and you can try and save yourself in that. Now, are we going to make it up? We are pretty damn deep. I doubt it. Goodbye, submarine. 
And my life as well, probably. Oh, man, we're, we're a really fast swimmer. Not fast enough, clearly. All right, well, we sunk in a submarine. Let's hopefully sink in a ship as well. So welcome to the BB Flap Drill. This is an exploration vessel and a very impressive one then at that. Now, we have a helicopter pad here. I'm going to quickly go around the vessel here, see what we're working with. This is, let me go to first person, up, down, magnet. So yeah, these are magnets down here. So there's a lot of missions where you have to get things off the bottom of the uh, ocean floor. That's obviously what that's for. As you can see, we have two boats here that we can totally uh, control. And in here, this is where uh, everyone goes to kind of hang out. So open up this and look at, look at the detail in here, man. We got, uh, obviously, this is like an eating quarter slash common room once again. And it looks like, is this supposed to be like a food serving area? Probably. Now that goes back out to the outside. But yeah, there's like so much room in this thing. It's an absolutely huge boat. Uh, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. What is this? Ah, medical bay. I thought it would be a bathroom. Where's the bathrooms at? There's always bathrooms on these things. Now, out front, we have a crane that we can actually fully control. So, again, this thing would be great for a lot of different types of missions. Uh, if we go out here, I have no idea how to use this thing. But, obviously, uh, those are magnets on the side. So, it looks like kind of like the back. We can drop these down if we want to. Oh, it's actually got a slider on it. Holy crap. It's a legit crane. So, you can actually use this as a crane would do. So, I don't know why the back... Or why you'd use the bat ones on the back. This one's much more controllable. But I guess maybe you can, like, drag them on the bottom of the ocean and, like, pick up stuff. That would be really fun to try one day. All right. But, yeah, let's get into the actual helm. I think that's pretty much everything down here. The helm is up these stairs. And, yeah, this is where we can control the boats as well. So, yeah, it looks like we can drop down this. Oh, yeah, this is great. All right, we're definitely going to try out this boat later. So we'll suck that sucker up, and you get the idea. Now we can just rotate this outward and uh, actually drop this thing off. Wow, that is such a great design, too. Very easy to use, and when you want this thing in the water, let's just drop it just for fun. There you go. In the water you go, you little jerk. All right, we'll reset this, and we'll take the helm. All right, welcome to the helm, ladies and gentlemen. We got deck lights here. I guess we'll turn all the lights on. Helipad lights, nav lights, and heaters are on as well. Once again, we can go to the Arctic biome with this if we want as well. Uh, fake. Judging the fact that this says fake, it's probably a fake control panel. So we're not going to deal with that. This is what we have to start with first. We have to turn on both of the engines. So engine system. I have no idea how to do this, by the way. Hopefully it goes well. Sometimes these engines, they take a while to start. I really like that about this game because there's a lot of troubleshooting. Okay, maybe not. Oh, I still hear it, though. Oh, there we go. The moment we move the throttle, it's good to go. So we're going to max that throttle up. Hopefully we don't start moving. I think we have to still control it. Uh, we're going to turn this side on. There we go. You hear it again. And we are good to go. So we'll drop the clutch down, I guess. Not really sure what the clutch is for. We'll just let it happen. The, the important part is... We're not moving just yet, but the engines are definitely on. So, I actually don't have too many controls here. It looks like, okay, so this is... Clutch means throttle, I think, in this one. We got a horn. Horn works. That's always important. All right, let's turn on the system. I think this is as easy as, well, we have our controls right here. So, let's do all up. Oh, we're beeping a bit. That's okay. I'm fine with beeping because, holy crap, we're speeding, man. We are a really... <laughs> I, I like to go full throttle, man. Let's actually try and maybe turn this down a bit, though. I feel like... Oh, 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 God. Oh, I'm, I'm doing things. I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm doing things. We're still moving. That's the important part. And the beeping has stopped, which is all I wanted was the beeping to stop. So, yes, that was actually not too bad to set up. And, oh, the beeping has started again. Wow, this thing actually has bow thrusters as well, so we could uh, strafe it left and right if we wanted to. So, yeah, steering... Simple enough. I mean, I, I have it fully in control. Look at me in there. Look at that professional with his stupid getup. So I guess now all we need to do is see if this thing can survive a tsunami. By the way, I forgot to show something that's rather important. Um, oh, God, it's all fake again. Fake, fake, fake. Sink. There's a sink option, though. So I'm thinking when we do that, this thing will actually sink. We'll try it later. Let's actually try and do a mission right now. I feel like this is the perfect thing for some sort of mission. 
Okay, not sure if this is going to go well. I don't know if we're equipped to do this exactly, but we have a lost anchor. And I really wanted to try something that I haven't done before, so I think we got to go, obviously... Well, we can't go underwater, but I'm hoping it's rather shallow because we might be able to use that front crane to retrieve it. If not, well, we're just going to have a nice little boat ride over there. Yeah, pretty damn good. 2.3 kilometers out. Now, what I wanted to try, I was thinking... By the way, it's a little bit laggy. I'm sorry, this is a pretty complex design, obviously. But I wanted to try and drop the back magnet, see if we can maybe troll over it and pick up the anchor. We'll also try and use the crane in the front, of course, as well. All right, don't fall off, don't fall off. We've done that before way too many times. Let's not fall off our creation. That's the only important part. Look at how fast we're going, man. This is so freaking cool. Okay, so what, what, what the hell am I doing here? Up, off, down. Drop that magnet. And that one is on as well. Now, wouldn't it be awesome if we just get, like, a random piece of metal? I hope we do, actually, because that, that would be really fun to try and, like, find treasure in the middle of the ocean. Uh, but, yes, how far are we out? 1.4 clicks. So, yeah, we're well on our way there. This boat, I mean, when it's full throttle, it's actually going at a very decent speed. Okay, we're getting close. I'm going to start slowing her down. Uh, what are we at here? Because I think we can technically put this thing in the reverse as well. But yeah, how far? Eight, 780 meters away. Looks like it's like right in front of me though. So we're gonna gear up just a little bit. I was hoping it'd be shallow. Judging by the fact that we're in the middle of the ocean, I don't think we're gonna get that lucky. Oh, there it is. I see it. Oh, that's gonna be a small target, man. I thought it'd be smarter to try and back up into it because we still have our cords dragging so we might be able to connect to it but god damn a that's deep b that's a very small anchor so i thought it'd be a big sucker i mean we are on a big ship though so it kind of makes sense i don't know if we'll be able to get this i'm gonna give it my best shot though okay we're gonna shut those systems off uh we might even want to anchor down the irony is i might pull up my own anchor if i do do that so hopefully we don't move too much I put it as close as I really could. Oh, man. We'll see what happens here. I'm going to give it a shot. Okay. So, very hard to tell exactly where it is. As you can see, the more I look around, the more random it is. So, we're just going to drop this down. Well, the problem is I don't have... I thought it would extend a little bit further. This is as far as it can go. So, it's really not meant to be at the front, kind of on the sides of the boat, more or less. Let's drop it, though. Are you serious? That's as deep as it goes. Okay, so that's not going to work. I thought this would go as deep as the other things. Clearly, I was mistaken. This is for maybe once you grab something, to grab it off of it and put it on the boat, I'm assuming. That's kind of what this area is for here. So, yeah, we're definitely learning as we go. It's a little bit of a bummer. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to be trolling for anchors at this point. So, we'll see if we can do it. This is going to be fun, man. Oh, I see it. Come on, I just went right through it again. Like it, oh, it was so close too. There it is. Did I get it? I just went right over it. What the hell? Let's just stop and see if we actually got it. Cause it's very hard to tell with that camera. It is not the best camera, that's for damn sure. You know what, we're gonna slowly go over it again, very slowly. So hopefully by the time we get back there, it might do another pass. Man, trolling for anchors is not easy, though. I swear I hit it at least once, though, and it makes me feel like you really have to connect with these things to do it. So we are going to uh, bring this one up. Uh, maybe I should have brought the other one up first. I think this was the one that was going over the anchor. Oh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? What the? Did you just? Is that? What? The... What just happened? Okay, well, clearly there's nothing on that. Uh, we're going to turn that magnet off because I connected it to my own person or my own boat. Let's just bring that sucker in. Easy now, Tiger. Jesus. All right. And come on, man. I'm just praying this has something on it. So I think what we're going to try now is to drop it directly on it. If that doesn't work, I gave it my best shot, man. We're just not going to be able to get this anchor. It's not worth the effort, man. It's not like it's a human life. Uh, all right. So let's see. It was wobbling a little bit now. You can see it's just... It's just a wobbly boy, that's it. Wait, if I have a scuba suit on this, I might be able to do it my own way. I never thought about that, but yeah, we can definitely use scuba suits. 
Yeah, amazingly, there's no gear on this boat that I can easily see. So this is looking pretty good, though. We might be able to drop it down and grab it right away. So down we go. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. I might even dive down. It's going to be risky, though. I might die. All right, well, either I die or we save an anchor. Is my life worth an anchor? I don't think so. Magnets are on. I'm trying to get as much jump power as possible. That way we can dive down quickly and go. 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 Oh, this is bad. This is not going to work. This is... What the hell? What is eating me? Stop eating me. I don't appreciate it. Where the hell are the anchors? So they're going into the ground. That's the issue. They're going into the damn ground. Oh, I'm dead anyways. I gave it a shot. Didn't work. Well, this is going to hurt, I think. My old boat is still here. I have not given up, though, guys. We are going to get this damn thing. If it's the last thing I do. God damn old boat. You're going to put, put me off center. Can I push it out of the way? Oh, maybe I could sink that one. That, that, that would be great. Okay, so now for the fun part. It's nice and low this time. I got to figure out... I'm hoping I can see these things on the bottom. Now, you might be wondering what the hell I'm doing because we technically didn't make it all the way down there. Well, I installed a scuba suit, so we should be good now. What? The, oh, it's magnetized to the damn thing. See, this is the problem with magnets. Get out of here, magnet. God damn. There we go. Okay, and we're down with that one. Let's go get on my scuba suit, and let's see if we can actually do this. So diving equipment done. Now we don't have to worry. There's still sharks here, mind you. Oh, God, is that a shark? That's not a shark. Thank God. Okay. So I'm hoping I can see. It looks like I can probably grab this. Very dark out, by the way. I mean, we are underwater in deep sea, so to be expected. Is it attached to a piece of metal? Don't tell me that's a piece. Is that a freaking piece of metal? Oh, no wonder why this is such a pain in the butt. Okay, so yes. I literally attached to the world's smallest piece of metal. And... <laughs> Get off. Unless it's too heavy. All right, how far away? Wait, no, we're going the wrong way. Where the hell's the anchor? Okay, we're going to go back up. Uh, I'm going to have to drop the other one and unmagnetize the other one because it hit a piece of metal. My luck, man. My freaking luck. Now, we're way off. I thought we were right. Ah! That's a shark! That's a freaking shark! Not again! Oh, don't do it. Don't eat me, buddy. I'm, I'm not delicious, I swear. Oh, God, I've never wanted a ladder so much in my life. Come on. Come to me. No, no, miss it. Miss it. Ah! Oh. Oh, well, that's not good. I hope he doesn't hang around. All right, screw the sharks. Hopefully there's none there. Because uh, if I die to a shark, that's going to really suck. So we got anchors everywhere, as you can clearly see. Oh, octopuses as well. That's great. What? what? Did, it, did it go back up? Wait. What? How? Ah! God damn it! No! No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Two? I am so freaking dead. I just wanted to grab an anchor. I'm so bad at doing these freaking missions. Ah, oh, to be fair, why does the magnets go into the ground? Wait, there's one there. Shark, can you freak off? How are you not damaging me, by the way? This is this is really weird right now. This is awkward. Can you just let go? There. Are you happy now? Come on, little guy. Come on. Ignore the sharks. We just got to bring, bring this over here. Yeah, amazingly, I don't think this is going to work. How close are we now? I was 36 away. Yeah, I'm still 36 away. That, that, that's a bad sign. I tried to grab with the other hand, see if that would help. Dude, why are why are the It's not like stuck to the ground, is it? What are we at now? Oh, well, we're slowly. God, this would take forever. I'm gonna test something here. I'm gonna drop the magnetism off and maybe I'll be able to drag it over towards the anchor, put it on the anchor and then uh, turn on the magnets and hopefully pull it up. That's my final option. I've given it my best shot here, man. It's just, man, these anchors do not want to work. What's up, sharks? How many do we got now? Still three? Okay, here's the big question. Hey, are you serious? Why? That doesn't make any sense. How? How's it magnetism to sand, of all things? God damn it. Okay, well, I shouldn't be mad because I figured it out at least. Ah! No! No! Stop it! Frig off, dude! You left me alone for so long! Oh, now all your friends hear, see blood, and they're all excited. Oh, God, you guys you guys are dragging me down. You guys... Wait, can you let me go? Let me freaking... Oh, God damn it, dude. <laughs> Look 
at my guy. Oh, they're all eating me. This is amazing. I could really not deal with this right now, though. Because I gotta go deal, fix this. <gasps> That's a good sound, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna bring it up. I'm confident. The moment you hear that, let me just ensure that it's not just a random noise. No. You see? You don't hear metal clinking unless it clinks to metal. Oh, please, God. Please tell me. Did I get my anchor? I have spent so much time on this. Okay, something's definitely wrong. Are these things not powerful enough? And the fact that the anchor is still 65 meters away tells me that this probably isn't working. The irony is it's easier to move the anchor than it is to move my damn thing. So, oh God, come on, just come this way. Oh, I can't get it. I can't get it to roll over because uh, obviously the weight's on the one side. God, we are so close. This is gonna... Ha! Ah! Come on! All right, so I'm gonna have to accept the fact that I have another failed mission. So we were so close. And I honestly, I don't know if that magnet has enough power to bring it in. I don't know if we have to drag that thing to mainland if we need a helicopter for it. So it was a challenge. I didn't expect to be able to do it. Honestly, I just wanted to try. Whoa! Whoa, what's going on over there? I just wanted to try it, damn it. So... Now that we've done that, let's uh, end off with a sinking. And well, hopefully, we're gonna press the sinking button and see what happens then. Cause God damn it, this might be an amazing craft, but it's very frustrating to deal with. Okay, so let's turn on the heaters. I don't know, just to get comfortable, you know. And the sink lock. Let's let's open that thing. Okay, is it sinking? Maybe we have to turn it on too. I mean, it will take a while to sink this thing too, so it might already be sinking. Okay, how we doing? Oh yeah, that's looking like. Uh... Oh my God. We're actually sinking on a ship. This is amazing. Okay, let's uh, let's let's pretend this is real. You know, we have to get to the life rafts before bad things happen. Hopefully, the magnets work better here. Drop them down. Magnet it up. Drop that off. Pick it up. Dude, this this is what this is made for. I don't know why I was trying to get an anchor. I should have went to save lives or something. But there we go. We are definitely sinking. Let's check out. Oh yeah, definitely sinking. We're gonna drop this off. And this is how you save lives, guys. Is it... Okay, okay. Well, we have two chances. Come on. All right, got to be honest. I'm getting a little nervous now. Didn't expect to have to do this. Oh, God. The problem is we're really close to the other boat, too. Um, Yeah, we're definitely sinking. This is this is bad. Okay, okay. Drag it out. Let's, let's take our time this time. Wait for the sway to stop because we only got one chance for this. Oh, my God. Okay, well, I don't think it's going to fully stop swaying. Let's drop it at the right time, though. Right now. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay. Please tell me you didn't. You f... Oh, what? I couldn't have done that better. How do I fail at everything? Is the, the other one... Okay, I don't know. Oh, yeah, they're upside down. All right, well, I guess we're going down with the boat, guys. I mean, I am the captain after all. Let's, let's, let's go take a little sneak peek into here. See what's going on in there. I, I, oh, wow, actually, amazingly, this hasn't filled up yet. But uh, if I do this, for example, yep, that's going to help. Well, guys, it was fun. We have pretty much sunk the boat at this point. Uh, we are going to wait until the final minute. I like that it's actually the uh, stern is going up, too. Is it the stern? Bow and stern, right? I'm not, I'm not doing that wrong. But, yes, it's definitely sinking. And, oh, my God, this is so cool to experience, though. Uh, clearly we're gonna have to get off this thing soon. Oh, can I actually... I could still walk on this amazingly. Um, it's not gonna last much longer though. You know what? Let's go to the other ship and watch the rest of this sucker sink. I can't believe that. I can't believe two tries and I didn't get one boat to actually go into the water. There she goes. Rest in peace, boat. That's so cool. I, I love that it... Oh god, what the hell just happened to me? It just threw me off. I love boats that have sinking buttons, though. That, that's like the funnest button. Oh, man. That was a great experience. All right, and yeah, it's pretty much done. I don't know how the engines are still on. That's impressive. You know what? Let's do one more thing. Spawn that tsunami, and uh, let's experience a tsunami on the poop deck here. And see, actually, I wonder... You know what? We're going to try and put these boats in the water. 
by the time the tsunami comes. We'll see what happens here. Maybe, just maybe, I can make a boat land on the right side up. You know what, this time, let's just do it right, you know? You're supposed to, you know, obviously winch this thing down. I just thought, you know, in an emergency situation, you could drop it in. Oh, God, is this is this tsunami coming? Why, why are we leaning sideways? Is it because of this boat? I don't know why I'm getting off the big boat and going on a little boat, but, dude, look at this. Okay, let's go down. Let's, let's go down on our little boat. Can I actually drive this thing? Oh, yeah, pilot seat. I still kind of need to know how to control the actual boat. Oh, there we go. We're actually controlling it. I didn't realize uh, it had an engine on it. Sweet. So, yeah, a total mess today, but that's the way I like it. Let's go experience this wave together, guys. Whoa, slow down, boat. I'm trying to stay with the actual other boat, but it doesn't want to actually slow down. Well, it was nice knowing you guys. See you on the flip side, because, yeah, we're probably going to flip, actually, now that I think about it. Now, the question is, will it sink the other giant boat? I think this thing's going to flip all the way around. Oh, this is so cool to watch. It's not like a real tsunami, though, where it's basically a wall. I mean, if you look at it from this perspective, it is a wall, but it's like a giant mound, more or less, which is kind of frustrating because then you kind of just roll over it. Oh, it's definitely going to sink that other boat, though, I think. Oh, man. We're going. We're going down. Oh, don't sink this little guy. Try to get off the other boat. Oh, there's the peak. And... <laughs> Holy crap. All right. Well, that was a lot more chaotic than I expected. Can we land it and get out of here? Okay. Well, it did a good job at destroying us. And, uh, yeah, on that, we're going to wrap up another episode of Stormworks, guys. I'm sorry I suck at the missions. Uh, we'll have to do some of the uh, more basic ones. I just I don't understand how you're supposed to grab that anchor. Very, very confusing. But yeah, if you do want to download any of these creations... Ah, I'm dying. I'm dying because I'm drowning. Okay, that's that's that, that, that would make sense, actually. But yes, if you want to download either of these creations, there'll be links in the description where you can do so. Thank you so much for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.